Launch, launch, launch. A new Russian design concept for a loyal wingman type drone has been unveiled, marking the country's latest aspirational foray into unmanned combat air vehicles UCAVs. Interestingly, the Kronstadt company that designed the Grom, meaning Thunder, previously displayed another UCAV concept under the same name. However, the new fighter-like version of the Grom is very different, apparently stressing raw performance, especially in the transonic realm, over low observable features and endurance. A mock-up of the new Grom drone is on display at the Army 2024 Defense Exhibition that is taking place in the Moscow region from August 12 to 14. Unlike many modern UCAVs, the overall design of the Grom has a lot more in common with a Cold War-era tactical jet, with a cropped delta wing and a conventional tail section with horizontal stabilizers and a vertical fin. The fin mounts a distinctive fairing at the top, perhaps intended to contain a satellite communications antenna as found on some business jets, while another fairing is located at the root of the fin, which is a far more common feature on tactical aircraft often containing a landing chute and or electronic warfare gear. Power is to be provided by a single turbofan engine, with a fighter-style circular dilating exhaust nozzle. The engine is fed by an unusually small trapezoidal-shaped air intake on top of the rear fuselage. A dorsal intake was also used on certain Soviet-era jet-powered drones, such as the Tu-141 Strij and Tu-143 Rays, both of which have appeared in Ukrainian use in the current conflict with Russia, repurposed as one-way attack drones. In fact, the new Grom's configuration is most reminiscent of these aircraft, as well as the much larger Tu-22 Blinder. It also has a passing resemblance to Boom Aero's totally unrelated supersonic testbed design. According to some reports, the power plant will be the AI-222-25-2 shaft turbofan used in the Yak-130 Mitten jet trainer. This engine is not normally fitted with an afterburner, but this is an option and might be chosen for the Grom. Other accounts suggest that a version of the Rode 33 or the related Rode 93, used in the MiG-29 Fulcrum and JF-17 Thunder, respectively, which feature after burning as standard, will power the Grom. Based on the appearance of the exhaust nozzle, one of these last two engine options would appear more likely. The Grom's internal weapons bay was almost certainly selected to optimize the high-speed characteristics of the drone, rather than just driving down the aircraft's radar cross-section. Provision will also be made for the carriage of stores under the wings, which would affect performance. The retractable landing gear is of the conventional tricycle type. The streamlined forward fuselage of the drone terminates in a pointed nose, apparently including a radome. There is currently no sign of any electro-optical sensors or related apertures, although these would presumably be added at a later point. Visible around the nose are certain white painted panels that may be intended to represent conformal antennas of the kind associated with electronic intelligence sensors, or perhaps a side-looking airborne radar. According to the manufacturer, the Grom will be armed with up to 2,000 kilograms of stores, including laser, satellite, and TV-guided bombs and missiles. Guided and unguided bombs and missiles of 100, 250, and 500 kilograms will be part of the armory, including anti-radiation missiles. 
A graphic provided by Kronstadt shows four underwing pylons, as well as the internal weapons bay, although these were not fitted to the mock-up. The drone mock-up was displayed alongside examples of the KH-58 USHK anti-radiation missile, a much upgraded version of the Cold War era KH-58 that's designed for internal carriage inside the weapon bays of new generation fighters and drones. The specifications of the drone, as outlined by Kronstadt, include a maximum altitude of 12,000 meters, a maximum speed of 1,000 km per hour, a cruising speed of 650 to 800 km per hour, and a range of up to 700 km. Unconfirmed reports put the maximum takeoff weight of the drone at 7,000 kg, although this may well simply be based on the weight of the original Grom design. In terms of the Grom's role, Kronstadt describes its vision of the drone, working as a wingman in the forward echelon in cooperation with manned aviation, where its missions would include detecting and attacking ground-based air defense systems, reconnaissance, and attacking land and sea targets including beyond the front lines. Overall, the design of the new Lookgrom appears to be optimized for high speed and maneuverability, rather than low observability and endurance. While the drone on display at Army 2024 is very clearly a mock-up and may well be subject to change if and when an actual prototype or production version is ever built, it's very notable how different its design philosophy is compared with the previous iteration of the Grom, seen below. The original Grom, first unveiled at the Army 2020 exhibition, was also a UCAV but was similar in shape to other modern designs. These included the Airbus Barracuda, General Atomics Avenger, and especially the XQ-58 Valkyrie. The Valkyrie, in particular, is a stealthy, affordable, optionally expendable drone developed by Kratos in the United States, although Grom was significantly larger and was intended to operate from runways, not launched via rocket assistance.